Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to add length to your nail by using nail tips and gel polish. To get started, I've pushed back all my cuticles and I've taken down any tip that I had on my nails. So to start, you want to size up all your tips and I'm using the Terrific Tips Perfect Fit nail tips and these are the natural color. You want to select the proper size for each nail. So you want to line it up and you want to make sure that it's not too small because then it'll cause the tip to stretch out and it won't adhere properly. And you want to make sure that it's not too large because then you'll be gluing it to your skin and that'll cause lifting. So this one is on the larger side, but we'll take care of that in the next step. So now to create a perfect fit, we're going to file down the edges. And then before gluing it to the nail, what I'm gonna do is file down the top of the tip well. And what this is going to do is, is it's going to create a more natural seam. And as you can see, the nail is a bit raised off of my nail. So what we're gonna do is file that down so that it's smooth to the nail. And I'm just going to lightly take my 100, 180 grit file and just lightly file it down. And I'm using the tip well. You can see is that kind of translucent area. And I'm using that as my guide as to where to file because I don't want to file down the actual tip because that's what needs the strength. You just want to file down the part that's going to glue to your nail. So now I've filed down the tip and I'm going to take my super fine buffer and I'm going to lightly buff. Now if you were going to use the whole tip as your length, then you would buff the entire tip. I'm going to wind up cutting it. So I'm just going to buff about half the nail. And then you want to repeat this whole process for all the rest of your nails. And now we're ready to apply our tips. Before I start, I'm just going to take some alcohol just to make sure there's no oils or dirt or anything on my nails. And I'm using Nail Bliss Pro Brush On Glue to apply my tips. And I'm just going to take a little amount and place it in the bottom of the tip well. And you want to spread it out evenly. And then you want to hold it perpendicular to the nail and gently lower it onto the nail and then press and hold. You want to hold it about 10 seconds to make sure it dries and then press down the sides to make sure that they adhere. And then to create a perfect seam, I'm going to take a tiny amount of nail glue and go across the seam just like that. I'm going to use my hurry up nail glue dryer and quickly dry it. And now you have the tip applied. And I'm going to apply the rest of the tips to my left hand and I'll be right back. So I have my left hand done, and before I move on to my right hand, I'm going to take down the length. You could either use artificial nail clippers, or you could use scissors. 
and I'm going to use scissors just because I feel it's a little more accurate. I can see exactly where I'm cutting. One thing to keep in mind is you could always cut on the longer side and then go back in and file them shorter or cut them down even further. But if you cut them too short, you can't really add length back. So it's better to cut initially on the longer side than on the shorter side. So I'm just going to cut off the length like that. I've applied all of my tips and I've trimmed them down. And now I'm ready to file. And I'm going to file down carefully and gently along the side just to smooth out any glue that, that could have gotten down there and to make sure that the nail tip is flush with my nail. And then you're going to take your super fine buffer and just smooth out the glue. And this is how the nail will look once you've filed and buffed. As you can see, it's perfectly smooth to my natural nail. So now I've filed down the edges and I've buffed them smooth and I've also filed them to the length and shape that I want. And now I'm ready to apply the Gelish manicure. I'm using Gelish in place of acrylic or traditional gel manicure. What you'll need is the pH bond, the foundation, your choice of colors. I'm going to use the Simple Sheer just because it's an almost clear polish and I want to keep it pretty natural so that I can polish over it. Um, but you could also use one of their colors or you could use the Structure Gel which just adds thickness and then you'll need the top it off. Um, I also wanted to show you the difference between the sizes. This is the mini that they sell at Sally's and this is the regular size that you can buy off Amazon. So that's the difference between the size. And you'll also need a lamp. Now, I recently bought the Gelish Mini Pro 45 LED lamp. Um, I also have a 36 watt UV lamp, but as you can see with the times, the LED lamp is much faster. So that's why I bought the LED lamp. Now I'm ready to start my gel manicure and I'm going to wipe all my nails down with alcohol and you should use a lint-free wipe and they sell those at Sally's. Um, if you don't have any, I just use a paper towel, fold it up and it works just fine. Um, sometimes if you use the cotton balls, the little fibers will stick to your nails and you don't want that. We're going to get started and we're going to apply a small amount of the pH bond to the natural nail. There's no need to apply this over the, the tip because what it does is dehydrates the natural nail to allow the gel polish to adhere to the nail. And now we're going to take the foundation and we're going to apply a super, super thin coat. So we're going to remove pretty much all of the polish. You want barely, barely any on the nail. And you can apply it in like a scrubbing kind of motion. You want to make sure you cover the entire nail and wrap the tips. And 
if you get any along the cuticle, you want to make sure you wipe it off before you cure it because after you cure it's going to be very, very difficult to remove. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to four fingers and then I'm going to cure it and then I'll do the other four and then my thumbs. Um, if you have a two-handed UV lamp, then you could do all of your nails at once, but this gelish light, you have to do four fingers and thumbs separate. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to cure the foundation for 20 seconds. I'm going to apply my color. Now the key with gel polish is each layer should be very thin. The thicker the layer, the more easily it will chip or crack. So you want to make sure that each layer is very thin. Now up until the last step, your nails will remain tacky, so don't think that it didn't cure properly. It just, that's how the polish is supposed to be. So now we're going to apply a thin coat of color. And this is a color that's for doing French manicures. So it's basically a clear with a hint of pink, but it's so sheer that you can't even see the pink. So that's why I like to use it for doing the tip extensions because it basically just looks clear. So I'm going to do the rest of my nails and this color will cure for 45 seconds under the LED lamp. I'm going to apply Top It Off and I'm going to apply another thin coat and then again cure for 45 seconds. I'm going to take my paper towel again with the alcohol and if you don't have the cleanser that comes with the gelish polish then you must use 91% or higher alcohol the 70% just won't work to remove the tackiness so I'm going to apply that and you just want to rub off and it'll be nice and smooth and all the stickiness should be removed. And here are the finished nails. As you can see, they look pretty natural um, compared to acrylics or gels. They're not, they're not very thick. They're just about the same thickness as your natural nail if it had polish on it. Um, if you used a color polish, then your nails would be finished. Um, but since I used the clear, all I would do is take my super fine buffer and you just want to buff away the shine so that your polish adheres to it. Um, or you could just leave them like this. It looks very natural. Um, and again, it's just a great alternative to gels and acrylics. And it's something easy enough to do at home. Now, I will do another video in a couple of weeks to show you how I deal with the, the refill. Because as your nail grows out, unlike most polish where it chips off and then you remove it, with this, it, it'll grow out like an acrylic would. So I'll show you how to fill that in. Thanks for watching.